two for you and two for me. Yum, yum. I expect you would prefer sherry, but my dear Charles, you're not going to have sherry. You're going to try this delicious concoction instead. <laughs> What is it? Brandy Alexander. Mm. You don't like it. And then I'll drink it for you. One. Two. Three. Four. Uh, down the little red lane, they go. <laughs> How the students stare. I'm not surprised, Anthony. I'm a little out of sympathy with the undergraduates for the moment. That's why we're dining at Tame. Who else is coming? No one. I've got you to myself tonight. <laughs> There's a delightful hotel there, for which luckily doesn't appeal to the hearties of the Bullingdons. You heard what they did to me last night. Yes, I, uh... It's too naughty. <laughs> it was not, I knew, the first time that Anthony had been ducked, but the incident seemed much on his mind. I didn't want them to start getting rough, so I said to them specifically, the dear sweet clodhoppers, if you knew anything of sexual psychology, you would know that nothing could give me keener pleasure than to be manhandled by you meaty boys. Ecstasy of the naughtiest kind. If any of you wishes to be my partner in joy, then come and seize me. If, on the other hand, you wish to satisfy some obscure and less easily classified libido, then come with me quietly to the water. So... I just got in the fountain and, do you know, it really was rather refreshing. So I sported there and struck some attitudes. <laughs> La fatigue du Nord. <laughs>